guys, my name is Allie and welcome to Wednesday's Take and Make Crafts with the Rapid City Public Library. Today we're going to be weaving beautiful rainbow fish. Did you know that there are over 100 species of fish in South Dakota alone? Have you ever seen any of those fish? I've seen a few while I've been at lakes and streams and things like that. There are so many to see, I hope that you can get out and explore and see some for yourself. Well, let's take a look at what we have in our Take and Make kits today and get started. In your kit, you should have an instruction sheet, a fish template, and some pieces of colorful paper, some strips of colorful paper. Our first step is to cut out your fish from its template. So let's cut out our fish very carefully. You can ask an adult for help with this one if you need. doesn't have to be perfect. It's okay if we make a little bit of mistakes while we're cutting out our fish. And we'll cut out his mouth for his smile. There we go. Now we're going to fold our fish in half. We want the line to be kind of right down the center of the fish. And next, we're going to cut slits into the middle of the fold. Now you wanna make sure that you don't cut all the way into his mouth. But we're just gonna cut a few slits. Okay, and then we'll open up our fish again. Next, we're going to start weaving our colored pieces of paper through the trim in the top and the bottom. Oh, excuse me. We're gonna weave our pieces of colorful paper in between those slits, just like that. And I'm going to alternate to create a basket pattern. So alternating means that I started with the red on the top here and I'm starting with the next color on the bottom. And we just weave these colors through. I'm going to finish weaving my colors and I'll show you my finished product in just a minute. Once you're done weaving your fish, you can cut the edges to look like fins. There we go. And now you can draw on a little eye And you can color your fish with whatever colors you like. Or you can take some scrap pieces of your colored pieces of paper and you can cut them up and glue them onto your fish for some more decoration. Beautiful. All right, guys, thanks for joining me as we made our beautiful rainbow woven fish. You can decorate your fish any way that you want and then hang it up anywhere that you like. I'm gonna put mine on my refrigerator. Thanks so much for joining me today, guys, and make sure to tune in next time for our next craft session here at the Rapid City Public Library. And also make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you can stay up to date with all of our latest crafts here at the library. All right, guys, thanks so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye.